Um, my name is Kajan, and as uh, Rolf mentioned, I'm not going to talk about the Internet for Robots. I'm going to talk about Kubli. Uh, so, the, as in, uh, since it's Switzerland, I don't have to explain, but the, the Lee comes for the, from the Swiss German diminutive Lee, and uh, because it's, it's kind of small. So, um, so, the next slide. So, it mainly consists of three wheels attached to three motors, an embedded processor, and a few sensors in red. So, um, so one of the things you can do is when you accelerate and decelerate these wheels, there, is a, there will be an equal and opposite reaction force on this uh, structure of the cube. And trying to control these uh, reaction torques, you can actually put the cube lead to make it balance either on an edge or a corner. Need some time to restart it. So that's the cubely balancing on edge. That's on a corner. Thank you. So, thanks. So what's happening here is that every 20 milliseconds, that is 50 times a second, the sensors are estimating the orientation of the cube. And based on these estimates, the required torques are calculated and sent to the motors. This may sound a bit similar to what's happening in, in satellites when you try to control the orientation in space. But since it, there is gravity here, the algorithms used are much uh, very different and sophisticated, I would say. So let's see some videos on what the cubely can do while it's balancing. Next one, please. Exactly. So it can take some amount of disturbances. Um, you can tilt the surface, and it can still keep balancing, but should not do very fast. And it can also roll around this, uh, around its center. It's a glass down, so it's not two cubies on top of each other, which would be nice to do. Um, but it can also do one more cool thing, which I found out this morning. It can also balance on the flight. Thanks to Simon's uh, great uh, flight skills. This was this morning when we were flying from Berlin mines to Zurich mines. Um, but the original goal was to do something more than just balancing. Um, to, about two and a half years ago, my advisor, Professor Danria, came to my office super excited with a few pieces of papers like this and said, I think a small cube that can jump up and balance is feasible, but we have to do something unconventional with the motors. Unconventional because the reaction talks I was talking before are quite small. They're not big enough to overcome the full weight of the cubely. So what we had to do was um, go for a different strategy. So what we did was we rotate the wheels at very high angular velocities and suddenly break them. This is similar to um, going really fast on your bicycles and hitting your front brakes. But the problem is you have to brake at very precise time of the velocity so that you end up almost close to the balancing position. So that's the theory. Let's see how it works in practice. So I'm going to put this guy below. So camera, you should focus on this one. So it's ramping up one of its wheels. It goes like that. So thank you. So thank you. So when you're balancing on an edge, um, if, you, if you want to go to this position, you have to do one more jump. And we are still working on making it robust. But we are, luckily, we have several videos of it, so I can show you what happens when it goes to the corner. So this is what you saw now. That's the corner jump. Now, from a different view, First one, I love this sound. That's it. So, so that's the cube lead jumping up and balancing. And now 
I'm sure many of you are wondering why. <laughs> why are we doing this? And honestly, when we started, we had no idea. We just, we just thought it was a really cool problem, a challenging one, and we were really curious, can we do it? But while working on the problem, um, it, it allo allowed us to come up with many state-of-the-art control and estimation algorithms. But in addition, um, it's, it's the experience from our lab is that when you do something really challenging and um, pushing yourself, applications always seem to come up. So this concept, um, very similar to Kubli, they call the internally actuated rovers, was proposed a year ago. And the researchers plan to send them to uh, smaller planets and asteroids. And the problem with smaller planets is that the gravity there is very low, so you cannot use wheel rovers to actuation. And these mechanisms can easily roll and even hop to do exploration. Another group of researchers, a few months ago, they built these small cubes they can uh, roll around and stick to each other to form uh, different shapes and objects. So that's the story of the Kubli. Um, I would like to finish with this clip uh, and the, uh, a great quote that we felt we experienced while we building. So we keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we are curious. And curiosity keeps us leading down new paths. That's the full team, and one of them is here, there, and thank you. <laughs>